candidates are increasingly dependent on the very, very wealthy. And I'm proud, by the way, that the vast majority of our money comes from working people. But if I'm a normal politician who needs to raise $20, $50 million, where am I going to go? I'm going to sit down with the wealthy. I'm going to go to the country club. I'm going to do my fundraisers at fancy resorts. And I get to know those people. But that's the whole point of this corrupt campaign finance system. If you're going to contribute a million dollars to my super PAC, well, maybe that you're a hell of a nice guy and you like to participate. Or maybe you want something. I think you want something. And you and a guy are going to become really good buddies so I can do your bidding. In other words, the millionaire class and the billionaire class increasingly own the political process and they own the politicians who go to them for money. And I worry very much, I, and I say this from the bottom of my heart, that we are moving very, very quickly from a democratic society, one person, one vote, to an oligarchic form of society where billionaires will be determining who the elected officials of this country are. I'm going to do everything I can to stop that. When you say you want to see elections be publicly funded, do you want to cut the ability to privately fund them? The first thing that I want to do is overturn the Citizens United Supreme Court decision, which is a total disaster. Uh, free speech does not equal the ability of people to buy elections. And what I have said is, if elected president of the United States, any Supreme Court nominee I make uh, will make it very clear that he or she is going to vote to overturn Citizens United. Second of all, I think what you want to do is at least make sure that candidates who are running will have as much money as um, their opponents who may have unlimited sums of money. Uh, thirdly, I think there are various ways that you can approach the issue. One way, which I find intriguing, is that you either give a tax credit or basically provide $100 for every citizen in the United States of America. And you say to that person, here's your 100 bucks. You can make a contribution. You're going to get a $100 tax credit if you spend that $100 on any candidate you want. I think that would democratize very significantly the political process in America and take us a long way away from these super PACs controlled by billionaires who are now buying elections.